beer. We've known each other for several years. Uh, expert level at every vertical of the back end, and that's just unheard of, as I mentioned earlier. I'm used to dealing with vertical back ends where this guy knows a little about network marketing, this guy knows none, and there's always this foreign conversation here. Now I'll tell you, it's, it's beautiful because all the verticals have an, have an expertise in our industry. So, um, Terry, Terry's up, thank you. Well, I'll uh, keep it short and sweet, and then you all can ask any questions you want. Um, you know, basically, you know, this has been a big project. Uh, this is not a, a normal project where someone will come in and say, I want to sell an energy drink, and I tell the lab to go throw some ingredients together with flavoring, and a couple days later we have a product that's testable. Uh, this is years and years and years and years of, of work um, that the team has put into it. So it started out years ago, uh, and I bought it um, about, well, I started the process a couple years ago uh, of buying it. I think it closed maybe a little over a year ago. And they, they put all the medical side of it together, most of it. And what it, what it lacked was the ability to actually market it. It was a fantastic idea with a ton of research, uh, all done by professors, doctors. Uh, but the ability to go take it to market is, was pretty much zero because it wasn't scalable. There, you know, to make an order, you'd have to hand mix the order and shake it up and you know, deliver it that way. As far as the test, there was no automated system. So, First thing we did is start building. Uh, the goal was to launch a year ago, uh, but I'm a big believer you don't launch until something's right, so it just kept being postponed. Um, so we have a couple big pieces to it. One's the Link Biosciences piece, which is a, a software uh, that we own 100% of, and um, it tracks the whole process. So when you get that kit, uh, one, when we ship the kit to whoever purchased it, so the rep that purchases it, or the customer, when that kit's built out, the kit is barcoded, the return mailer is barcoded, so we know the pieces parts to that kit, um, and the kit number's on the back, so it's all tied to that. Then when you, you get the kit, either you're gonna use it or you're gonna sell it to someone to use. And so, if you sell it to someone to use, the reason everyone goes to ustart.com to register is because that's when we tie it back. So when someone goes to ustart.com to register the kit, the first thing it asks for is the kit code on the back. We know who the parent of the kit is because we know who we shipped it to. Um, then they register, now we know who the customer is that's going to be using the kit. Now, for this business, the key to this is the turnaround time. So when you buy that kit, you have 30 days worth of pre -trition. Within 30 days, we have to have your DNA results back, processed, and in our computer so we know what formula to kick out for you when your auto ship runs. So it's very important. So the way we built it is this, is when you register at ustart.com, tomorrow we go and look at uh, USPS and say, have you dropped it in the mail yet? If no, we're gonna send you a nice, friendly reminder that says, hey Summer, congratulations on your, your DNA test kit. Uh, please remember to get your swabs done and in the mail today. And we're gonna do that every single day until that's in the mail. Second, the computer comes back with a yes, it's in the mail. Then we go uh, projected delivery date plus two. So when you mail something, it gives you a projected delivery time frame. We pad two days to that. Uh, and in that time frame, let's say it's three days plus two. So in five days, we go look and see if it's been delivered. If it has been delivered, then we start a new counter that says, okay, we're gonna give the lab five days, business days to process your results. If it comes back and it hasn't been delivered, it would go into a holding bin where customer service would physically call USPS and say, hey, tracking number 785828, where is it kind of thing. Uh, once again, the lab, then we give five business days, the end of five business days, if the results aren't in the computer, it notifies customer service again to pick up the phone and call lab and say, specimen 87326, you received it on the 18th, today's the 23rd, hasn't been processed, can you give us a reason why? Uh, so we, we, that piece right there is crucial because that, that turnaround time is everything in this process. But once we have those DNA results, we're golden. Then it comes to how do you scale up making the product, uh, which is, was the, the issue before. Um, and that's where the machine came in. So we, they had already engineered this machine uh, they just didn't have the financial wherewithal to get it built. So uh, we started the process, um, I'd say it's probably three years put into the machine, 12 months after the order of building it physically. Uh, so your, your order comes out in a barcode, 
uh, not even your name. So HIPAA-wise, you're completely protected. Uh, that barcode is, is your unique formula. So we it comes out with the mailing label and uh, the barcode. We scan the barcode, runs through, fills, comes out the other end. Then we either encapsulate it or we send it out the line. Uh, a custom label prints with your name on it, supplement fax panel, all that. Uh, uh, and again, it's, it comes to you for you. Um, that's, that's kind of the process on, on, on it. Now, uh, IT wise, you know, uh, behind is Market Vision. They've done, uh, I've owned half of Market Vision since 1998. It's out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Uh, we've done software since 98. Massive numbers, uh, billions of dollars in processed orders and, and uh, international, multilingual, multi currency. Uh, 05, we went through Sorbane's Oxy compliance, process flow, um, et cetera. Uh, so, you know, what we do here is, is our goal is to deliver an experience for the customer that's unsurpassed. Um, and the, the, the culture that I teach within our organization is this. Uh, because I started on the distributor side 25 years ago, um, every single experience is important, very important. Um, so I tell the staff this, is that I know in a true case, someone that spent 25 years building a relationship with someone that was strong enough for the person to place an order from them finally after all these years. And in 30 seconds, the person threw the product down and, and, and refused to be a customer anymore because of the experience. Whether uh, the product showed up late, whether they asked the question to customer service and couldn't get an answer, whether it was the product showed up and it was crushed, whatever the experience was, um, you know, so we, we take every order as if it took someone 25 years of their life to build the relationship enough, to earn the trust enough to get the order placed. Uh, doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. Uh, it just means that we understand the crucial and how important each and, each and every experience and order uh, is. Uh, as far as mistakes, you know, um, I, uh, back when I was 24, I was the CEO of a public company doing 200 million a year, $250 million market cap. Uh, I guess I was 28 at that time. I started there at 24. Um, and I'd get on stage at all these places and I'd say, you know, the fact is, forget all the gray-haired, experienced people, because it doesn't mean anything. Our, our work ethic will outperform their experience all day long. Today, as I said here, I say the only people that would say that is a fool without experience, <laughs> right? Because if you uh, equate, I equate it to a country road. If you live down a country road that has potholes, uh, if you drive home on that road every day, you can run 100 miles an hour and you're not going to hit one of them. You drive down it the first time at 100 miles an hour, you're gonna hit every damned one. So um, our goal here isn't not to make a mistake because that, that's not realistic. It's not the way business works. It's not the way life works. Our goal here is not to make the same mistake twice. So the, 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 the worst type of mistake is one you've made before uh, that you should have learned from and whether it was because of ego or whatever the reason was, you didn't take the time to sit back and say, okay, here was something that, that, that went wrong. It was our fault internalize what went wrong and figure out how not to do it again. Um, and, and that's really what we try to do and pride ourselves on. Uh, when you look at our, from our international infrastructure, uh, our international teams, um, you know, my Asian management team's been with me since 01, uh, Taiwan 02, Western Europe 01, um, you know, Mexico, we've uh, been my best friend since 15 years old. You know, so it goes deep. The organization is not a, even though Euphoria is a startup, the mechanism that, that is providing the support for this has been doing this for years and years and years. Um, and we thrive, uh, I specifically thrive on complex uh, problems. You know, so people say, well, when are we gonna see you? You probably never see me. You know, if you come through here and I'm asked to come sit down, you'll see me. But you want to see where I'm at. If you have a, a late shipping problem, or machine isn't kicking orders out right, or something like that, you want to know where I'm at. I'm going to be right there on the front lines uh, every time until the problem's figured out. Sometimes it takes a day. Sometimes it takes three months. 
Uh, it just depends on how hard and deep the problem is. But um, the only way you, you know, I, I, we have a category creator here, right? This is going to be a disruptive category creator. There's no competitor in the market doing what you're doing. Um, and when you do that, it's, it's rough sometimes. Uh, our, our goal and our job, and, and if there anything goes wrong operationally, there's one person in the world to blame, and it's sitting right here. Um, no matter what it is, and I take it very seriously. Um, I know we're going to make, make mistakes. I, I know that, but I can promise you this. Every resource that we have at our fingertips will be there to, to resolve it, hopefully before you know it happened. Uh, hopefully. Uh, if not, uh, trying to make it as least painful as possible uh, through that selling cycle and process. So awesome. that's kind of what we do. Anybody have any questions? Terry, I got the sense that you were really excited about this project. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm generally excited about category creators uh, like this. Um, and, um, you know, there's a huge need for this. I believe the f future of nutrition is custom, right? I mean, the old one size fits all. It's just medicine's going that way. Everything's going that way. Um, you know, if your body needs 1,000 IU of vitamin D, Yes, you are vitamin D deficient, but why do you want 10,000 IU in your body to process 9,000 to get rid of it when your body needs 1,000? Mm -hmm. Our goal, long term, is to give your body the 1,000 it needs and nothing more and nothing less. If we can dial it into that fine, uh, then, then it's a perfect world. Do you have um, two products, pre-trition pre and nutrition? Um, so they're, they're Yes and no. Uh, the pre comes in the DNA kit, so it would be your first 30-day supply that you're going to be taking while we're processing your results, getting them into the computer so we can make your custom formula. And do you use the best formulation like methylcobalamin and B12? I've worked for a functional medicine company. So and we get a lot of same. questions like that. Um, for an example, the B12 that, that is in the formula, I'd have to look. But uh, Joe didn't know that. Michael Smith, that'd be a better question for them. Okay. But we're already switching to B12 uh, 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 in the next order based on some feedback that came back from the field. Okay. Uh, and it's probably exactly yeah. what you're talking That's about. That's what we just mm -hmm. talked about. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. How many people have been taking the product? I heard that some people have been testing it for years. So the company that I purchased, I think over the lifespan had about 40,000 customers that had taken this uh, uh, products. Uh, not the new formulas, we added SNPs. Used to have 12 SNPs identified in pathways that they were supplementing, now we have 18. But, um, so yes, there's been a lot of customers on this product over the years. Uh, again, they were manually filling and wasn't, I don't think, operationally the prettiest in the world, but yes, there's been a lot of customers on the product all the time. And this is for 18 years old and older, not for kids? Correct. Okay. So the machine, how long would it take someone, I, the machine is all about scalability, yes. I assume. How long would it take someone to be able to duplicate or create or mimic or come in and try and... You know, I, I, um, it took probably three years for us uh, all in, so let's say someone's twice as good as we are, it's still going to take a year and a half. I, I can't imagine somebody doing it faster than that. And you're the best, right? Yeah, I, I'll answer I don't, I, I, don't, I don't ever say that. <laughs> yes. we, we do our best at, to be the best that we can be. But uh, if, if somebody's twice as good as us, they could do it in a year and a half. When can we see what's tested? What, what the snips are they're on the website. Right we can get a few shoes introduced. Okay, okay. I haven't Perfect. even seen a video. Yet. Well, you're here okay. for that purpose. We're going to show it yeah. to you. Yeah. Okay. So, what does the future look like for Euphoria? What's going to come down the pipeline uh, in terms of like products, and then timeline-wise, based on what volume that you have in your mind, or what countries you open up, or so, strategy-wise. So, uh, you know, Ron will guide that a lot. Uh, and generally, the the when it comes to Product side, my goal is just to stay up on technology. Right now, we have 18 SNPs identified uh, that, that we know the ingredients are very effective in the variants there. Um, I, I'm sure six months, 12 months from now, there's probably going to be two, three more genes identified, and they're going to continue identifying new pathways, uh, genetic pathways, 
Uh, our goal is just to stay at the very cutting edge of that uh, and continuing. The, the good news is we can continue to upgrade your formula with the same auto ship. Not like you have to change anything. Uh, so your formulas will continue to change and improve uh, as new ingredients come out, maybe that has better clinical research uh, than the previous ingredients. I mean, we're looking at clinical research on the effectiveness in that variant, specific variant. Uh, internationally, uh, database will take us. Uh, it is somewhat complex. Uh, from a product standpoint, it may be easier than a lot of the stuff I've done in the past because uh, the computer system has the ability, let's say uh, 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 we use uh, Stevia, which there's no sweetener in it, but it's an example. Uh, European Union for a very long time didn't allow Stevia at all. Yeah. Uh, so we could tell the computer based on country drop this ingredient so in the 82 ingredients if there's 15 of them that doesn't work in Europe all we do is say okay these 15 don't put in the formula for Europe and we're good to go from a formula standpoint the, the more complex part is the swabs uh, there's a lot of countries that won't allow the DNA swabs to be shipped across the country borders yeah. in that case we have built API's and our, everything already into the software to integrate with local uh, genetic testing companies in different countries so we have the ability to do that so the first step is can we ship swabs across the border if yes we're okay if no then we have to get a local solution yeah. once we get a local solution then we have to tie it up that's the first challenge and the second challenge is can we ship product from here to there so yes we get the results out but can we ship product from Van Alstine Texas to Nice France oh, yeah. uh, to the consumer the answer may be yes, the answer may be no. If the answer is no, then we have to say, is the market big enough that we'll put a machine specifically in that market and get the local, meet the local requirements for manufacturing? Um, you know, I do see having regional manufacturing in this in the future. Uh, you know, in Asia somewhere, we would have it for General Asia, uh, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, Singapore, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand. Uh, Malaysia, you know, kind of all maybe one central hub. Yep. Pretty easy to ship products in and out through those countries, really. It's not that complicated. Um, so we'll see how that works. So, the, the, um, so is it the U.S. initially? Right, uh, right now, U.S. and Canada. US and and a Canadian product and, and kits are shipping from here. And then the, the swabs, when people mail them back, they come here? Yes. So they come here, we barcode them in, and then we take them to the lab. And the lab is? Well, we have two labs, uh, but uh, one's in Missouri, one's in California, and then we'll probably be using one in New York as well. So this is the only uh, distribution center right now? Yes. What are the shipping charges for the auto ships? I don't know. We're going to cover that. Uh, once something runs, uh, then we would know. Um, what we do is whatever the rates come back from UPS. It's will be probably the same every month, but uh, that I don't. Is there a report with any diet information? So you will you will see the reports. Uh, the reports do have some some uh, uh, information on foods and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I don't know. I, I might have missed it, but the pretrition yep. that's a gen, is that a detox? Yes. It's a detox. It's a general detox. Uh, base, well, it's our base formula with detox. Yes. To get yourself ready. For ready what for the pretrition. The nutrition. Yes. Is there a list of the ingredients for the pretrition yep. online? On the website. Yep. Awesome. Out. Thanks, I appreciate it. Awesome. We haven't figured uh, everything out, but yeah. everything that we can think of is figured out. We're figuring it out. Yes. Hey, thank you all very much. Thanks, Terry. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey,